This is another very good question and takes a lot of judgment and experience of the solicitor to advise the client what to say in interview. Of course, going with a no comment interview will lead to an adverse inference uh, drawn by a jury as to their silence when questioned about the incident. However, if the solicitor has seen the evidence and it sounds likely that the client is going to trip themselves up with lots of different inconsistencies or saying essentially the wrong things in interview which might make matters worse for them, the solicitor might well advise the client to answer no comment to all questions and instead putting together a defence case statement, uh, perhaps reading out a pre-prepared statement or just leaving it to the defence case statement and dealing with the adverse inference in court later, whereby the barrister will seek to persuade the jury that they had a good reason to go no comment in the interview and instead rely on a pre-prepared statement or the defence case statement.